Ross, obviously not nice circumstances for this interview tonight after a heavy defeat at Torquay. But I guess that's football, isn't it? We, we enjoy the highs and we have to suffer through the lows. Yeah, I mean... I mean, we've had obviously a lot of highs in the last top three games, and, and that's come crashing. That's bringing us a dose of reality, really. Um, uh, I thought we didn't start well. Um, I mean, that's clear to see. Um, we, were, we were on the back foot. Uh, we were defending in the wrong parts of the pitch, and we were putting the pressure. And, and we didn't deal that well enough. And uh, I think I said to James, I would take, we'll take responsibility for that in terms of how we set up and how we play. We, we, we're a team who wants to play in the half. We, they didn't give us opportunities to do that tonight. They played the conditions very well. Um, they were better than us early. Um, we didn't react well enough. Um, and like I said, I said there's a, there's a, a, a there's a lot to work on. I, I, I mean, I, I hope I've been clear in, in the in the Dorking game and in the um, uh, the Yeovil game. I still think there's a lot to do. Um, confidence was high, and to come in and get that was a was a real reality check, really. I think obviously we've 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 talked a lot about how tough a run it's going to be on on the legs. It was another unchanged side tonight, so do you think maybe that caught up with, with, the, with the team? Yeah, I mean, potentially that's an excuse for what we want to use. I mean, um, they didn't look tired on Saturday, and, and we sort of, we'd had three games in a row, I guess, potentially. Uh, it's hard to change. Um, I guess you could say, hard, you could say you could, if that worked, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, isn't it? Um, but again, it's an excuse, tired legs. We've got to be better. We've got to defend better. Um, but like I said, I said, we... we we will take responsibility of the management team and that and the coaching team and lots of things to work on. Um, uh, and there was a few sort of, like I said, a few frailties in the early doors. They started fast in there. We made them look like they weren't, they weren't where they are and uh, we didn't cope with it at all. At all. Torquay obviously did come out of the blocks really fast. They played really well tonight, but obviously that's no excuse for us to not perform either. What do you think went wrong out there? Uh, we didn't deal with the conditions well enough. Like we, 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 they, they used the conditions well and, and, and again, um, they put us under pressure. Um, they put us under early pressure um, and rather than being a bit smart and a bit more intelligent and managing the game and getting us up the pitch and playing the game in their half the pitch we, we made some silly mistakes, some silly decisions and we didn't screen well enough in front of the, the two centre forwards when they were playing from, from back to front nice and from back to front quickly um, and we didn't deal with that well enough neither but that, again, that, again the, 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 it's easy to say we, we've only been here like 10 or 9, 11 days and I said it in Dorking so I did say it when we were doing well Lord's to fix in this group and there's loads to work on and this is adversity now and this is this is what what, what, what we made of what we made of as a as coaching staff and what we made of as a management team and what we made of as players and it bounced back into the next two games really. We saw Joe Partington come off after I think it's just before the twenty minute mark. Um obviously that's not nice considering how long he's been out recently. Um can you give us any updates on that? Uh, he had a slight knock. Um it, it was precautionary, he's obviously getting seen to so so I guess we'll, we'll know more in the coming days really what that what's that like and how that's gonna impact us moving forward. And speaking of the coming days now, we've got a bit of a break, haven't we? So now you do finally get a bit of a chance on the training ground with the players. So it's it's, it's good to you know have that opportunity to to, to you know think about tonight and, and get on with it. Yeah, and, and listen, I went football for 20 years like this. Isn't the first time I've lost. Um, it's not the first time these players have lost. So, but we need to we need to move we need to move forward quickly and. We need to bounce into Dagenham and, uh, and get our confidence back. And we, we, we got it from nowhere before, and we'll get it from nowhere again. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident of that. 150 fans here tonight. Obviously, we saw 750 at Dorking, and, and this was a much bigger journey on a horrible condition. So, credit to them for, for coming tonight and supporting the team. Oh, amazing. Like, and like our fan base have been incredible. They're incredible at Dorking, and uh, they've been incredible since I've, I've come in and, and sort of done, done, the, done the four games that I've done. Um, I, th I think I think a little bit of reality is that we got nine points in 12 games, and if you if you'd have asked me that at the beginning, we would have got that. I think the disappointment, for, from my perspective, is the manner of which this one's happened, and you'd have probably looked at this one as one that we could get more point, but we could get more points from, um, which we haven't been able to do. But the man, it's the manner really. Um, but like I said I tip some responsibility for that, and um, I'll reflect on that, and, and we'll, we'll try and move forward. But we'll move forward the best we can. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.